Hello, sisters and brothers of America. I want to thank you. Thank you so very much on this Sunday morning for receiving my post. I want you to know that all this morning I've been just tossing and turning, thinking about what can I talk to you about that I haven't said before. And I'm thinking that each of us every day see something or hear something that makes us feel that our society is going just a little bit lower. And so I don't have to spend any time trying to recall any of that. We don't need that. But more or less, talk about solutions if we're going to talk about anything. So solutions to those problems that we talk about all the time. I want to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, if there's ever going to be a cry or a need or recognition that a need is due for a change, it is now. We have evil running amok. Seems like there's no low. I just recognized that over, oh, it seems I almost got caught. Started repeating some of the things that I was telling us not to repeat. But here is what we should all know, ladies and gentlemen, is this. While one administration, let's say Biden, is trying to do some good. And I admit, compared to what many of us have had and are experiencing, he's definitely doing some good. The problem with that move of the Democratic organization right now is that they are not moving big enough. You see, they appear to be doing just enough good so they can be recognized as the one that does good. But that, my friends, is not sufficient. We need to fix the problem, not appear. See, when we appear, that means that's just, it's like two people arguing. One throws a hard low blow and another throws a hard low blow and they're constantly trying to see how low one can get not knowing that each move that each one makes, it shows, it reveals the nature, it, it reveals that character, it reveals that inner spirit in them that's really in them. While if one just said, oh, I'm throwing in the towel, I can't say those evil things about you, will appear weak, but it won't be stressed. That would be the immediate benefit. And so what I'm seeing when I see what's going on, we have to take the big step. We must take the righteous step, not the good step, the righteous step. And so what is the difference between the good step and the righteous step? The good step is where if one party says we're going to take mostly everything, a good step says, well, we're going to give more. But the righteous step says all going to have. That's the righteous step. So I'm asking all of us today on the Sunday morning to take the righteous step. It might be the first day of spring or the second day of spring or something like that, 2021. Let us take the righteous step. We see how people are so willing to do this and to do that, to destroy, to destroy. But we, why don't we just choose to be willing to do everything, to live, to live, to live. Let us make an agreement with one another that outside of our immediate family, you know, like a spouse and, 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 uh, and children right in that immediate family, well, you know, you're always going to say that you love them. That's a given. You almost see them as one. But let's look at everybody else outside of ourselves. Let's look at people who may be a little younger than me as our brothers and ladies as our sisters. Let's look at people who are about my, around my age. Look at them, wherever they are, regardless of their color, regardless of their nationality, as our aunts and our uncles. And uh, the younger generation, let's look at them as our cousins, our cousins, all one big family. And I want you to really... Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do the best that we can do. And what is the best that we can do? It's when every human being can stand up on the stage and know that they're going to be judged by every human being. And when you look at the every human being, say, they might not like it, but they can't say nothing bad about you. Why? Because you cause them no pain in their lives. You cause them no suffering in their lives. And you can smile. And they can say, come over here, because what we're doing is actually separating those who love and those who hate. We're separating those who love 
and those that hate. And when you can stand up on that stage and that is done, maybe somebody will say, come on, my good and faithful servant, a job well done. Because you gave your life for love. And there is no greater love that one would do that. And if there's no greater love that one could do that, then there can be no greater reward than one receive that. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm begging you. Now is the time. Now is the time to make the real choice. You know, we got good people in every rank. But everybody knows that's how evil prevails with good people because good people are not going to go the ultimate way. They're not going to go that they're not going to go there. Why? Because they don't know that. They might believe any and everything, but they don't know that. What is that? The truth. And that truth is that life is everlasting. What's the evidence? It's been given to us. We saw it in the womb. Once we were all in the womb, and now we're all here. That's, an ev that's evidence. That's evidence right here that we take transition one from the another. And now we just, are we lost? We know we're going to die. We know that is a given. Now, the truth of it is we can't see into the future. We don't know what's going to happen. But you can be confident if you know love. You know what love's going to do by what love has done. Love is love. And so I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, my sisters and brothers, let us make, well, for me, I don't ever want to take a life. I haven't. But I always want to feel that I'm willing to give mine for what is good. And you know why? Because I've always been protected. I've been protected when I didn't even know it. So I'm sure that even if I have to say, why have thou forsaken me? <laughs> I'm going to be all right. So I just want you to consider something different on this particular day. Just consider it. Until next time, this is Eddie Marker saying goodbye.